Welcome back, everybody down dead. Legacy, I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get hopping on our um, uh, base, uh, our, our, our final base configuration, our living quarters, our crafting room, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, that sort of thing. Uh, okay, so I, uh, I spent another full day mining just off camera, so... I uh, got a, another big old load of stuff. Uh, we've got 1,344 iron ingots in here. One of the things that we need is approximately 900 iron plating. Yeah, I was, didn't think I was going to be able to carry all of that. So that we can make the elevators that we need. And we might... Do we have that now? Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. we got got 1,000 iron plating. Okay, because uh, I believe if we look here... And... We do elevator, the four, the six floor elevator. Yeah, they each one requires 300 um, iron. Uh, the rebar and the pipe's not a big deal. And I've already made the nuts and bolts, and we should be good on all the other parts that are required for that. Um, so how am I doing on, like, mechanical parts and electrical parts and all that stuff? We got 680 because I'm, I'm thinking, you know, since we need those pipes, I might go out and wrench some cars. Uh, we have 468 mechanicals. I need to take some of these with me out to the mine, too, to repair the turrets. Uh, do I have any hacker candies? I do have some hackers. Well, you know what? I'll, 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 wor I'll worry about that later. I, I really want to work on this today. I'm I'm excited to, to start working on this. Uh, okay, let's just put the fuel in there. Uh, we can actually launch Roberta. So, yeah, maybe I'll go rent some cars off camera. It is good to be online. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Roberta. Okay, so the first order of business today, before we do anything else, is let's run up to the garden and see if our crops are ready. Oh, you know what? I also have some points to spend, too. I have two points. And um, I've, I've planted some goldenrod up here. Okay, so those aren't ready. Those are still growing. So I'm going to leave the goldenrod here until everything's mature. So that way when I come up here, I can pick them all at the same time. Not that it matters a whole lot because we're going to be redoing all of that up there anyway. I also wanted to... Do I have money in my inventory? Yeah, I wanted to run down to the vending machine, uh, which is a couple floors down. I think it's another floor down and see what's in there. All right. How many floors down is it? <laughs> Must be another one down. Okay. Let's go down one more. Woohoo. That was close. Here it is. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to buy the... Grain alcohol, the ravioli, rock busters, that, that, chicken soup. I don't think I'll buy the chicken soup because I don't think it's used in any recipes. Skull crushers, sugar bus, sugar butts, chicken ration and miso are also not used in recipe. Tuna is though. Okay, good. So we stocked up on that stuff a little bit. I've been uh, thinking about another thing too, and that is moving uh, moving our land claim block over just a little bit so it's right smack dab in the center of the that that is purely an aesthetic thing it's not a needed thing but I don't even <laughs> I don't even remember where I put that thing it's down here on one of these floors sitting in a corner well it's not important we'll worry about it later okay let's head on back up with our goodies and uh so so we're gonna finish the floor we're gonna get <clears throat> the, the walls at least partially built then we're gonna paint you know start doing some basic painting to get things the way that i want them and this is our floor here and then you know start moving stuff around and, and we have a little bit more construction types of things to do as well some more blocks to break and that sort of thing all right, so let's put all of the food in here that'll go in there. All of that can go in there. 
And I made some uh, boiled water for food. So what can we do? We can make a uh, one gumbo. Uh, we can make five chamois chowders, veggie stew, or steak potatoes, or meat stew. Oh, hobo stew. Yeah, let's make hobo stews. Okay, so I think those are the best things we can make currently. All right. Um, you have been not doing anything, but you have been making lots of cement. So now let's turn all of this cement into a concrete mix. I've been making stone powder like crazy. Let's switch this to a 2000 and this one to a 2408. Now we should be able to mix concrete like there's no tomorrow. Wow, look at that, almost a thousand. Beautiful. And still more stone dust to boot. Um, can we make more cement? Yes, we can. So let's get more of that going. What is that gonna use up? Okay, yeah, so we still have sand. Sand is actually a very, very precious resource in Undead Legacy because, to my knowledge, unless something's changed, you can't, you can't make it. Unless, like I said, unless he's changed that. Let me look. Sand. Yeah, see, it doesn't come up in a search. So there's no way to make sand in Undead Legacy that I'm aware of. If you could do it, yeah, see, there's no recipe in here for sand. And it wouldn't really make sense for it to be anywhere else. Maybe in here. No. Yeah, so that's that's why it's, it's pretty precious. Okay, so let's see. We got 129 concrete blocks here. Let's finish out the floor. And I have I have a plan that I will share with you on how I believe things are going to come together here. All right, the floor is finished. Fan friggin' tastic. Um, now. I believe we want to come along here and put another row, except for this is where th things are going to get a little bit different. So let me think about this for a second. Um, well, I know for sure that this corner is going to stay the same, so let's start with the corner and we don't have to fully build out the wall but I want it you know two or three blocks up so that way we can put down what we need to put down um, yeah let's just go four blocks with that and then we'll change the shape copy the rotation and go up that way Copy rotation. Is that right? I believe so, yeah. Okay, back to this block and put that there. Okay, so that gets the corner going. Now, I believe these blocks here represent the windows. Kind of hard for me to tell now. This is super precarious because if I get a leg <laughs> like that, a leg as I'm trying to get out on the ledge here, it could be all over but the crying. And it doesn't look like I can get out on that ledge anyways. All right, you know what I got to do is I got to go back down because I don't know exactly where the windows start and stop on this side of the wall. Uh, we know where they will here because we can just go based off of those. But on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slightly damage these blocks just to mark them. Is 
That way we know where the windows are. And then that, of course... Or I guess I could... Yeah, I could, I could have just gone three blocks over that way. But there's a reason why I'm doing this a little bit differently, which will become apparent. All right, let's go back up this way. Okay, so that is one of the marked blocks. And this is... Where's the other marked block? It should be there. How come I, there's only one? Didn't I mark two blocks? That one's marked. All right, that's confusing. All right, well, anyway, we know that it's it's three. Okay, so let's go back to this one and this one. And now, normally the window would go here. And actually, we might still be able to do it that way. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can still do it that way. Okay. So let's bounce up here. This has to go. Um, let's look at something here. Okay, so there's like a whole line of those all the way at the top. So it's like a, a trim piece. That means we can do this. Um, what does the corner look like? Okay, so there's nothing in the actual corner. Oop, lag. Laggity lag, lag, lag. So, I think we want one more. Yeah. Uh, I had it for a second. It's like one pixel to get that thing on there. There. And then rotate or copy rotation here. No, not on face. Just like that. Yeah, I think that looks right. Okay. And then obviously we're going to want to put this in here. Two. Okay, I'll worry about this little trim piece later. Okay, so what we're going to do now is one of these is going to become an opening, uh, probably a doorway or some or some kind of opening, because what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to park my vehicles in this corner of the building rather than put them on the roof, which was, which was what I was originally planning to do. Um, then what that does is that frees up the roof to where we can make just a ginormous garden up there and have, you know, like a, a hella landing pad, that sort of thing. Um, so the idea is we come up the side of the building on the elevator in, you know, in our mining cart or our motorcycle or whatever we happen to be in. And then we probably we will probably come up on this side, I'm thinking. And we drive through here. We park here. I'm going to have storage uh, kind of up along the walls where we can get to everything. And then we drive around this way and go back out here and around back to the elevator. Well, you know what, though? That might not be a good idea. Maybe we'll only have one entrance and then we'll just pull in and turn around. Because, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll just have the one entrance. 
Now the question, the next question though is where do I want that entrance to be? Do we want to come up from this side or this side? I'm kind of favoring this side actually. But we're going to have to do some modification down below in front of the building to get that to work. Which we can do. This is... Oh, okay, so this is... Trying to get my bearings here. So this is actually the side of the building. That's the front of the building, that direction. Right. Um, what's behind here? See, there isn't really a street that runs behind the building. Whereas we do have a street on this side. So yeah, I think that this will be our entrance right here. Which means the rest of this can just be put together in the normal fashion. Okay, so let's copy that shape, rotate. And likewise do the same thing over here. Uh, oh, are we supposed to be putting blocks here? We aren't. Because that's for the window, huh? Right, okay. So we definitely put blocks here. I don't think I was supposed to put these blocks in here, though. Because, yeah, there's kind of like a, a sill here. All right, well, here, let's take these back out then. Damn it, Jim. Oh, I need gas. It's really easy, at least for me, to get confused about how this all comes together, especially when you can't see, you know, below. Okay, let's finish these blocks out here first. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Looking pretty good in the neighborhood. Now what we want to do is we want to put these blocks in. So copy shape, copy rotation. Oh, damn it. That was from lag. And that one we're going to leave open. We want to copy this block because it's got the little uh, trim thingy on it and copy the rotation of that block. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, so the windows come down further now that I'm seeing this. Let's get rid of this crap. And that gap right there, probably just some more of these flat, flat guys. Oh, there's nothing in there. Really? <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> that was close, man. That was really close. Yeah, there's... Okay, so there's nothing in those gaps. Huh. All right. Okay, so that means then... Um, we got 32 blocks left. Yeah, let's just go ahead and... Put these in. There's an, oh, there's another trim piece that goes along in the corner there, too. Okay. Well, let's put that in there. See, that block, though, is, is not the trim piece.
So I guess that only is for a long... Well, why wouldn't it be, though? Because it's, it's the trim piece all in the hallway. Oh, wait a minute. Because... Wait, is this wall supposed to come out further? If it is, I'm not taking it out further. I want it to stay where it is. Um, all right, well, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to copy what's there. Copy shape. Good. Okay. Now, let's go over here and pull out what, however. Oh, that's already all done. How about that? Concrete shape. I can make 184. And you know, we have more concrete there. So let's just turn all of these into more concrete blocks. Let's grab this. And more stone powder. We have stone powder in here. There we go. Okay, so, um, I think what I want to do is I want to remove the rest of the ruined stone next. So let's get that done. And it's probably going to be easier to do that from upstairs. gets um, all of the ruined stuff out of the way um, so the next thing I want to do is uh, why don't we bust out the broken glass panes uh, at least in in this general vicinity this corner of the building is there another one right there That's a that's like a little trim piece or something. Okay, let's leave that there then, because we might uh, want that again later. Let's grab some more cement. And, and repair that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to leave... Uh, this open and we're also going to well we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna leave the bath uh, a walkway through the bathroom um, and not you know wall it back up like it's technically supposed to be um, so let's make sure we're using the right blocks for this copy rotation and we'll put those in there and those in there and I think, yeah, this was a baseboard block here, so if we copy the shape and the rotation, well, no, we don't want to copy the rotation. Just have to do the advanced rotation until it gets to the right direction. There we go. So that would go there. 
Um, is that right, though? See, if we turn it around the other way, it doesn't, um... Oh, I know, I know what this is supposed to be. Okay, here, I gotta take this back out. This is supposed to be a full block. <clears throat> what if we copy this block here and its rotation? No, that's still not the right one, because we need the, we need a full block with the you know, the wainscoting or trim thingy on it, which I think could be those blocks. Maybe they're just painted a little bit differently. I'm trying to find an example of a, a wooden one. See, I don't, I think that's just, I think it's this one here. It's just painted differently because you've got, you know, you have, <clears throat> excuse me, you have the top and bottom parts of it. Unless it's these up here. No, because that top strip there is part of the bottom block. All right, well, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to say it's this block here and this one's just painted differently. Uh, copy rotation. Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay. Um, now we just have to get it rotated correctly, which what if we copy this rotation? Nope. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll just have to do this the hard way. There. That's what we want. Okay. Good. And then you can go back to this shape here. And we'll have a doorway into the bathroom. We'll fix the shower and then a doorway into our living quarters. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. So over here, <clears throat> excuse me. Are the is this concrete or wood? It is actually wood. Okay. So I need to make some more wood blocks then. Um, no, I don't need to get in there. Wood frames. Uh, are those the ones we want to make? If we go to here, wood frames cube. Well, here. I think though I think that is what we want to make. So let's just. Uh, really? I thought I made a whole mess of nails. Oh, I my <clears throat> I have to be within range of not the workstation, but my body has to be in range to do this. Yeah, okay. Uh let's make like say 30 of these. Okay. Now we should be able to uh copy shape and copy rotation. That doesn't have the The Wayne's coating thing on it, which leads me to believe that maybe this isn't the right block after all. Isn't there another kind of wood block that we can do? That's wood frames. Probably trim pieces. Yeah, this is what we want. Okay. Wood frames baseboard. Right. Okay. So let's... Um, uh, wood frames, baseboard, duh, 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 duh. 
for here though, we don't actually need that one, but we do need this one. This looks like it's just a normal wall. It just needs to be upgraded and painted. Okay, but this piece is has a bottom a bottom trim. If we copy the shape and then the rotation, there we go. That's right. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's do the same thing up here. In fact, it looks like it's, well, yeah, copy rotation. And then I think it's here. Let's just flip. What's going on? Oh, I'm getting caught in the thingy. Is there a one I can copy rotation on? Yeah, we could probably just use these. Uh, copy rotation. Oh, no, we can't. Um, if I set this to simple, will it stay? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Is that right? Yeah, just the angle looks weird. And then this block is this guy. And the rotation shouldn't matter on this one. There we go. Okay, so that gets that set up the way that it's supposed to be. And I think we want to probably just continue the, whoop, uh, this around up here. Copy rotation. Except for that then that means this one needs to be the the big block. Oh, I can pick that up. Right, because, uh, uh, okay, yeah, right. It's a wood frame. Even better. Okay, so once again, copy shape and put this one in the corner there. Good. I think we got things set up then the way that they're supposed to be. And the kitchen is... Oh, we, we're going to need to replace the, the cabinets and stuff in here, too. Um, and then out here... Uh, I guess we just keep using these here. Copy shape, copy rotation. Just to go across that way. Okay, let's upgrade these. Oh, we need more wood planks. Not a problem, we got plenty of those. What? Okay, I think that upgrades everything to actual wood. And we're in good shape there. Okay, so next order of business. My plan is to put storage along... Uh, oh, I guess we're thirsty. Put it up high across this way and crafting stations along the bottom. And we can also do crafting stations all along here and all along here with matching storage up above that's 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 what i have in mind here and i'm just trying to decide if i want this big of an opening going into the kitchen or if i want to close that up a little more i'm going to keep it the way that it is for now because you know we can always change it later if we decide to do so um all right let's see what do we got going on here 117 more concrete blocks. I said I wasn't going to finish the the roof, but I think I am actually going to finish the roof. 
just because that way we know exactly what it is that we're working with. Uh, so let's go ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, and get that in place. So, um, we are, I think we're probably pretty darn close to being out of time in this episode. So I'm going to wrap things up here and we're going to pick up right where we left off in the next episode and keep working on this until we get it, uh, mostly done, if not entirely done. So, uh, what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to paint and we're going to get storage put in place. We're going to get some generator set up and some lights in here and, and then, you know, kind of start, mo move, you know, moving the crafting stations over and getting set up. Now, uh, again, this is the crafting room, as I've mentioned. This is going to be the kitchen. So we're going to bring kitchen, food, medical, that sorts of thing, uh, sort of things in here. I don't know if I can get these lights to work, um, but we'll see if we can because I like them. Um, the only thing really that I, I'm planning on doing in here is just fixing the shower. Um, maybe seeing if we can come up with a cleaner sink or something. And then this is really just, you know, kind of the living area in here. Again, if we could get these lights working, that would be fantastic. We have, you know, some broken cabinets we got to pull out and replace with, with uh, working cabinets. Uh, I'll probably just leave the wall safes there. And so, yeah, that's the, the plan uh, coming up in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.